Welcome to our tutorial on creating a QR code with a branded logo. In this video, we'll show you how to generate a QR code using HTML, JavaScript, Bootstrap, and Font Awesome. We'll also walk you through the process of adding your own logo to make the QR code unique. So let's get started. First, we have an HTML document that sets the stage. It includes Bootstrap and Font Awesome for styling and icons. So here, the page that we have, if you go to the code view, here we are making use of the Bootstrap and then Font Awesome. After that, we have designed this page and all it's doing is setting up the text input for the QR code. Then we are selecting the logo and finally we have a button which says generate QR code with logo. This is the placeholder where the generated QR code will come in. And then we have a button which will come only when the QR code has been generated and one can click on this button to download the generated QR code. Now, in order to generate the QR code, we are making use of a library called QR Code Generator. So here is the URL for that. And to generate the QR code and make it downloadable, we are making use of HTML to Canvas. So this is the library for that. And we are doing this using jQuery. So for jQuery, we have included the jQuery library as well. So what's happening behind the scenes is when you are entering this text for QR code and you have selected the logo and clicking on this button generate QR code with logo, we are invoking this function. And here what we are doing here, we are taking the text input that the user has entered and the file that has been uploaded and we are checking whether the text is there or not and the logo is there or not. So these two are mandatory basically. So just to check to ensure that both the inputs are there. And after that, we are making use of this QR code library. Using that, we have passed this QR code container as the, as the target where the QR code will be generated. And this is going to be generated using the text that we have entered. This is the size of the QR code. So when you do this, it's going to create a canvas within the QR code container div. So inside this div, we'll have the QR code as a canvas. Now, once that's done, we are now working with the image. That image is going to be overimposed on top of the QR code. So here we have created a variable called logo, and then we have this reader, which is reading the uploaded file and it is setting the SRC attribute of the logo as it's an image. Finally, we are reading it out. And once the load operation is complete, that means once the logo is having the image, we are then making use of the following line of code. So here what we are doing, we are taking the QR code container and within that, the canvas that got generated using this QR code line, we are taking that and we are putting it as canvas. Finally, we are making use of that canvas as the reference canvas to create the combined canvas height and width. So this line, we are creating another canvas. And here we are setting the width and height of this combined canvas as the width and height of this. And this is basically getting its height and width from this QR code that we have defined. So this is also going to have the width and height of 128 pixels. Once that's done, we are drawing the QR code on the new canvas using these two lines of code. And finally, we are calculating the logo position. So we are putting it in the center with this line of code. And finally, we are drawing the logo on the new canvas. So we are providing the logo, the coordinates, the logo size over here. And using this ctx.draw image, we are generating the combined QR code. And finally, we are replacing the old QR code, the text-based one, with the one that is now having our logo as well. And finally, we have this download button to download the QR code. And the code for that is pretty simple. We are making use of HTML to Canvas to convert it into a PNG image. And here, we are providing a link, QR code with logo.png, and we are clicking that link and downloading the image. So basically, whatever was generated within the QR code container, we are converting that to an image and downloading it. So now let's go ahead and run it to see it in action. Here I've entered my website name 
and then I'll be selecting a logo over here. Once that's done, I'll be clicking on generate QR code with logo. And there we go. We have the image now. And as you can see, it is having this brand logo as well. I can click on this download QR code with logo. And we have the logo created. You can see this now. We have the brand image along with the QR code. And we can scan this as well. Stay tuned for more such videos. Don't forget to subscribe.